I don't know who this guy is. We're going to try and get him on the radio. Uh, Rick, yeah, uh, we got a bit of a problem here. If I could get you to stop talking for a second. Yellow airplane, yellow airplane, who are you? Whoa. Uh, hello, yellow airplane. Oh, you. Yeah. First off, a piece just fell off your airplane and get out of my airspace. <laughs> no, I came here. This is the Quincy Air Show, isn't it? Uh, this is the Quinty Air Show, but you are not part of it. Oh, uh, yeah? Right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh is indeed. Get out of my airspace. Who are you? What, what is the name of the man flying that airplane? Uh, I'm, my, my, my name is Chuck Dramamy, and, and I'm from uh, Kingston. You're from Kingston. What were you doing in Kingston? Oh, well, the trio, um, I, I was there for disturbing the peace. Oh, you were like in Kingston. <laughs> That's the deal. All right, so your name's Chuck Dramamine? Yeah. All right, Chuck. Well, I need you to get... Do you know what? You're Chuck... Chuck. That is amazing. Chuck. Oh, pull up, Chuck. Up, Chuck. Chuck. Oh, I think I just did. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not good. So our, you're a pilot, but you're not part of the air show, so I need you to get out of our airspace and land that airplane. Uh, there's a problem here. Uh, I'm not a pilot. <laughs> you're not a pilot. Well, I built this thing in the workshop. I learned how to build it. Obviously not. And I haven't learned how to fly yet, but I got a book. Oh, you got a book. Well, listen, I'm not a certified instructor. How about I tell you what to do? Nope, I don't need your help. I've got my own book. <laughs> You've got a book. Hey, okay, well, what does your book tell you? My book says, just a minute, I'm, I'm look, I gotta look at something. Uh, Watch out for the trees, Chuck. Uh, the book says stay out of the trees. <laughs> All right, well, read the book, get out of the trees. Actually, land over there, that would be nice. I went out on a limb on that one. <laughs> yeah, well, leaf through your book and see if you can find out how to land that thing. Leave me alone. Yeah, I'll leave you alone. There's a big runway out here in front of you. Please put the airplane down on it. Hey, I can, wait a minute, I got a problem. What's your problem? My brake pedal and my gas pedal. Brake pedal and your gas. You don't have a brake pedal and gas pedal. Those are your rudder pedals. That's how you turn left and right. I got my own book. Hang on. That is, there it is, page three. You're right. Yeah, okay, well, just pay attention to your book and you'll be fine. Oh, fell out of your airplane. What was that? That was my book. <laughs> All right, so now am I a little more important in your life? Uh-huh. Can I get a little help, please? I'll give you a little help. Now we're going to teach you how to fly. Okay, thanks a lot. But you know what? There's a lot to learn. There is a lot to learn, but you know what? If Rose Kissman can do it, you can do it. There is a stick between your knees, and that is your your uh, control stick. So you're going to use that to turn left and right in conjunction with this. Chuck... You almost had it. You almost landed right there. It was beautiful. But you're going to use those rudder pedals and that stick. You pull back on the stick, you go up. If you push down, you go down. And you're going down. Don't go down, Chuck. Not right now. I don't want you to hit my starboard jets. I don't want to do that either. I like them guys. They're good guys, and they like you. But they'd like you a lot better if you're on the ground. I was, they were pen pals when I was in the joint. When you're in the pen, yes. I know, I know. Now listen. We got to get you through this, and we got to get you on the ground. Rick Volker's on the runway right now, so you can't land. So just keep keep it up. Pull back on the stick, Chuck. Gonna buzz him. Yeah. Who's that guy? That's Rick Volker. He's the guy who's an act you beat up on, and he's a bodybuilder. And you're scaring the heck out of me, Chuck. He looks kind of. Uh oh, Chuck. It looks like you just had a tire fall off your airplane. I got a wheel problem. Yeah, you got a wheel problem. You know, you built that in the pen. You didn't do a really good job, did you? I, it's still flying. It is still flying. I wouldn't mind if it didn't keep flying, but could you just spin around, put it down on the runway, and come to a park? So oh, easy for you to say. Well, I'm trying to give you as much direction as I can. That's about that bank. That's how I got run in there, too. You're talking about a bank in the plane. I, I went to a bank. That's where I went to prison. Yeah, well, you should be really afraid, because there goes Dave's white, I'm a really cool guy car to try and knock you down. So, uh, he's going out there to get you. You better land before he gets that real muscle machine after you. That was a wing dinger. It is a wing dinger. Don't drag your wing. How about just turning around, lining that thing up on the runway, and landing? That would make me very happy, Chuck. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. What do you mean you're busy? Busy. I can't talk right now. What, what are you so busy doing that you can't talk right now? Paperwork. Paperwork? What, what, what kind?
kind of paperwork are you doing that you would be so busy, Chuck? Very important paperwork. Important paperwork. Too important to fly the plane and stop screwing up my air show here? What kind of paperwork could it possibly be? Oh, that kind of paperwork. I gotta get it back. What, you're not done yet? No. All right, well, spin back around and see if you can grab some more of that paperwork. Got it. All right. Now that you're done your paperwork, how about you uh, line up on that big cement thing right underneath you, pull back on the throttle, and land so we can continue on with the air show. We got the Hornets want to fly, the Snowbirds want to fly. That's a beautiful thing. There, you're lined up. Now throttle back, throttle back, pull back. You're outstanding. Great job, great job. Outstanding. Outstanding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Outstanding in the field. Hey, I got some OPP officers want to uh, talk to you. You know what that is? I gotta leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Ricky P, put these people out of their misery. Yeah, well, that's right. That's, uh, that is incredible flying to think of what you just saw with only one control as the Jelly Belly Interstate Cadet rolls and land on top of the truck. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, and look at the side of the truck, Rick. That's a horrible one. Jet flying formation with the Harvard. Jet Pete, ready to go, flying formation with the Harvard. Just help us celebrate the British Tower of their first win. I can't believe it, I'm sure. They're not the Canadian World Trade Heritage Story, the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association. We got Rick, we've seen, we've seen him land on everything from a pickup truck to a U-Haul truck to but this is, uh, this is crazy. There's no extra roof on this vehicle. You can just put it down. Just so you can fly formation with a the harbor. There's a picture. I've never seen this before. He's a man of the morning. He's going to be our last night. He's going to fly formation with a the harbor. And there you go. You know, the ideal of food in the parking lot last night. He's going to be in the morning. 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 I think it looks...